packaging area. There she is. Gone up. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I here make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for almost nine years now. In today's video, I'm going to be packaging up all my orders for my 50k Instagram sale. I'm going to try and do a couple of different angles for this video. The last video I posted last night is horrible. I'm so sorry. I cut way too much and by the time I should have just waited and restarted it. Because yeah, by the time that I finished it, it was just, it was not good. So I'm going to try and do the bird's eye again. And this time, not as choppy. Because it is so choppy, the other one. And it's so short. It's horrible. And I cut out nearly everything I said. Because I've been having so many comments. I don't know. I think maybe the comments are getting to me about me talking too much. Can't please everyone, obviously. Anyway, I'll show you what I have. So we've got heaps of hair claws, a heap of scrunchies, all those three. Got some bows. So these are the tied bows, just with a clip on the back. These are also all my new fabrics. Someone requested a red towel, um, towel scrunchie. So I got that too. I thought robots and stuff would be fun. I love this dog one. And this one. Had, I had that once before, a real long time ago. We got French Bulldogs, Donuts, and I love this one. So I'm currently collecting all my Christmas scrunchie fabric. I haven't finished collecting them because I'm still waiting for Spotlight to come out with a heap of new ones. They still aren't in stock. And this is also my new packaging area. All my bits and pieces I use. Got uh, one of my mun bins in here. So I have two mun bins. I was thinking about using this one for the packing slips because usually I, I print packing slips all the time and it would just be a smarter idea for me to use this. And because this one's a 300 DPI, which is like, you know, the better quality one, it should print them pretty good. I'm gonna test it out though. Yeah, just got all my supplies. And these stickers, they're gonna be for these orders for the 50k sale i got these ones so they are from vista print look there's my face in it lol <laughs> yeah they are vista print product so very similar to the ones i did in january i didn't really consider that when i um ordered them but <laughs> they will do flo just ran past let's see if she runs past again look at my veggie garden by the way it's uh going well there she is so yeah i'm obviously very flat today and i'm just i'm really not feeling it but i wanted to film all these. I'm just gonna package them all up, but I probably won't talk much during the packaging, honestly. I'm just gonna pull my headphones on, listen to Hamish and Andy. Um, I finished Grey's, actually. Yeah, I finished Grey's Anatomy. Uh, it was a real struggle to get to the end. I really wasn't enjoying it. All my favourites had gone. It's just like, and then the people that remained, I was hating on. Oh. This is probably gonna be my last vlog before the weekend as well. So I've also got two markets this weekend. Trailgun's back, which I'm hoping is going to be a good day. I think it's going to be raining, but I do hope it's still going to be a good turnout. Um, and then I've got Mornington Peninsula with CMA. I've never been before, so I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't know if it's going to be like the other. I went to one, um, Murudook, which is close to that area, and I did horrible. I barely made the store fee back. And this CMA store fee is outrageous. Like, it's so expensive compared to any of my other stalls. Lean off, it was worth it for me. Two hour drive there, two hour drive back, foods, plus the stall fee. I'm stalling now. It's, there's not even that many. I think there's um, 35 orders to get through. You'll see there's quite a few orders that have a lot of items. Thank you so much. I get my laptop now and we'll print on the mud bin and see how we go. So this is what usually happens when I try and print out. I'm just playing around with the settings here. I just put the scale down to 40 and I'll see how this turns out. Okay, I think I figured it out. So I do print using system dialog. You can't see any names, can you? Nope. <laughs> um, and I do scale 40%. All right, let's see what this turns out like. So that's what that one just turned out like. I just did test run and looks pretty good. I've just separated them all into what shipping method they've chosen. 
So I've got ones like Express Parcel Post. I have normal parcel post, I have international parcel post, tracked envelope shipping and just no tracking envelope shipping. I mean, if someone orders something like a hair claw or like an XL scrunchie, for example, though, it will automatically adjust to the parcel shipping. You won't be able to purchase envelope or the tracked envelope shipping. So then you'd only be left with um, like, you know, two options, express or standard. But yeah, it just depends on what sort of product the customer orders and what shipping method they choose. And sometimes I'll upgrade the shipping method where I see fit uh, if the items won't fit nicely. So like a customer ordered these ones, they're going to be an absolute pain to try and fit in an envelope. And I mean, the order was like an $80 order anyway. So I just upgraded the shipping to standard tracking uh, in a parcel because it'll just be easier for me. I can't actually remember if I've mentioned this, but <laughs> if you order one of these, make sure you look where the hinge is. So if not like that. Because I had someone twice actually at the markets. They try and like close it through here, so it snaps them. Now I don't know <laughs> I don't know if like my you know purchases would do that. But just be careful, don't do that. <laughs> Because, yeah, um, which was annoying because uh, they pretended like it didn't happen. But And I have heard from other people, other small businesses that sell these specific hair claws that, and sell them at markets that people have just, they just come up and try and, you know, do the clippy clip, which they usually do. But they do it the wrong way and break them and then walk away. <laughs> so, yeah, um, if, you, if you did purchase one of these, make sure you clip it the right way. I'm sure you will. But I mean, even I, when I first looked at it, I almost went to clip it that way, but I went like, like this, you know, I didn't go <laughs> and snap it. I do also have some Christmas prints in here. Not really on purpose. I sort of just forgot uh, that they were online. I do have actual Christmas coming out, but yeah, this was last year's Christmas and I'm missing one from this order, of course. Some of these, uh, but I've got my big ones in the bottom of this. <laughs> Hello, here we go. This one's such a pretty set. So I just realized I'm actually missing so many items. Uh, oh well.
There we go. I just made all the ones I was missing, I think. Hopefully I was not missing anything else. So I'm going to do some from the bird's eye. And this time I won't edit it so choppy. So it shouldn't make y'all feel nauseous. <laughs> and then I'll also do some how I usually film. So just let me know what one you still prefer.
Oh, I forgot to mention I've got all these new boxes. But I was wondering if this one might fit in here. I haven't got the tape for it yet though. I don't know how much it's going to cost me because it's going to be so big. So I don't even know if I'll use it yet. It might be too big. I think it might be overkill. I might just use a parcel for this one. Um, like a satchel. Go satchel and... And maybe like a box for the rest. Mm, that won't fit. All right, this is gonna have to go in the satchel. I don't really like just popping them in the satchel though. But for some orders, I have to, if they order like a real big one like this. I might just do two of these bags. Won't look very nice though. Sorry.
so many of these. <laughs> and they, yeah, they're all mixed up now. boxes I don't think what I want to put in here will be a big enough oh, I'm small enough though I'll have to probably use that other box I have I think that might fit because this is massive <laughs> and we don't actually have that many scrunchies sitting there hang on I had a room behind me we might be able to use this box after all so what have we got yeah that should fit I'll, I'll make it work
too. <laughs> stuff on top of it I don't actually have a proper sticker but I just use a full one of these
husband's picking this up for me tomorrow at the market. But I'm going to give her, yeah, all this stuff as well. I'm still missing something from here. Uh, so I still have to do that. But I'm going to package up everything else first and then I'll make this one. I'm just going to quickly put all these in. What I do is I go copy and paste um, into OzPost. I have considered getting one of those um, apps. You pay for it monthly and it like does it for you. But then I'm like, what's the point? Because I still have to put the weight in. I still have to put the measurements in. I still have to do... Um, make sure it's actually like the correct shipping method because there are so many different ones. So I don't know if it's actually worthwhile for me. If anyone's in the same position as me, let me know. I'd like to know, but yeah, I don't really want to give it a go. <laughs> oh gosh, it has really gone up. All the pricing. It nearly costs $10 to ship this now. Wow. I've finished um, doing all the labels, so I'm just getting them ready to print on here. Um, one, two, three. So yeah, the reason I am in here would be because I have international ones. And because I've got international, I need to print them on the big printer, not the little one. But I thought I'd just do them all in here because it's just easier for me. Okay, we got there in the end, only like a day late. I was meant to have all these packaged up yesterday. <laughs> and it's now nearly four o'clock. Oh my gosh. Uh, it really does take like a day to package. Plus I missed a heap of things. Like, <laughs> that's okay. So yeah, it did take me a bit longer than I thought. It really does take literally a full day just to package orders. It really does. I need to get these to the post office now. Um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. But I'd just like to say thank you so much to anyone that uh, ordered from me for the 50k Insta sale. And also if you follow me on Insta and of course if you subscribe to me on YouTube, it all helps me so much. So thank you very much. I have to go get ready for the weekend after this. So yeah, the markets. I think I'm just going to bring whatever stock I've got. I'm not doing any new stock. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to Spotlight and buy some more material. My happy place. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!